Hello, beautiful. I really mean that. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sitting on the other side of the table here. Today we're watching some very, very chaotic bleach fails. We gotta turn it up a few notches. Can't just be bleach, it has to be chaotic bleach. And it creates this explosion of funness for me to watch. For us, you and I. So let's do it. Let's watch some people fuck demolish their hair. Up first, we have a video by Oksana Rachel. Here's what I'm working with now. Overgrown roots, lots of grass, looks like a hot mess. Oh, oh, girly. Um, you have so much going on here. You have the dark roots, you have the highlighted mids, you have the yellow going on, you have a little bit of the damage on the ends, a little bit of dryness. You are gonna have to avoid so many issues here. Like, you can go wrong in so many ways if you overlap on top with that already damaged part. If you over process the roots and the roots are white and the ends are yellow, we're already set up for such failure. So good luck and may the hair gods be with you. All of us crazy girls all wanna be platinum blonde, even though it's like so much maintenance and so expensive to get there. You're right, us girls do wanna be platinum blonde. I wanna be platinum blonde, but I f went red and screwed my life up. You guys let me do that to myself. I cannot believe you let me go ginger. Like really speaks volumes about you. Oh, everybody's trying to screw me over these days. She's using 30 volume or she said 30%. I think she meant 30 volume. Cause 30% is not the same thing as 30 volume. You know, a 20 volume would have been probably better for her. 30 volume is fine, but she probably isn't gonna work that fast around her head. So it might process too fast and she might end up with an explosion on her head and everything might set on fire and go burn in flames and just fall to the floor. But then again, maybe it won't. Maybe it'll be fine. Oh, f no. Why are we applying it like that? There's so many ways. There's a whole handbook. See, this is on how to apply bleach and there's options on how to apply it. That one is not in this book. She did a little bit of sectioning, but then she just started applying it to a random piece of her hair. But I think what would be easiest for her is if she lightened the roots first, got a nice clean slate there, and then went on the ends and tried to clear out some of that yellow and some of those low lights. This is way harder. When you start your project by putting lightener on the ends of your hair, it gets so hard to then go back and pick through the sections to try and apply to the roots. It's a pain in the ass. Not to mention all of her hair is completely different colors and she's applying it all at the same time. What are these foils? Yo, it definitely is getting f chaotic right now. What are we doing? I think that she's putting foils in the darker pieces. That way everything lands at the same time, which is a good idea, but like, whoa. These foils are like here and there and everywhere and around in the front and the back and the sides and every, oh God. Head is so hot. She definitely did something. I'm gonna do a little test. I started in the back, so that is where I'm going to go first. I really didn't put enough bleach on there though. Looking good. What? <laughs> what? 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 There's literally nothing on your hair. How do you expect it to lighten? You literally didn't even get any on your fingers when you touched it. Like, no, that is not enough lightener. And she even just said it's not enough lightener. Put some more on there. Like, put 10 times more on there. That's the first section you applied to and it's still brown. That's bad. It's been about 45 minutes. Okay, there's a lift. One of the other things you guys have to be like, you should be concerned about when lightening your hair is if you are pulling out the color too early. There is such a fine line between lightening the hair enough and not lightening the hair enough. And there is that sweet spot, right? It's nice and pale yellow, but it's still it's so healthy. The integrity is still there. If you go just like a few minutes beyond that, your hair is mush. You gotta be really careful. And I feel like she's taking this out way too early and she's gonna screw herself over in the long run. Oh, worst idea. Worst idea is applying the roots when your hair has color all over the bottom of it. It's gonna be so complicated. Yeah, it's just really not gonna be a good time. Ah, I just know she's gonna miss so many spots. It's gonna be tragic. I'm sorry, I'm like not rooting for you and I really should be. You go girl, you can do it. We believe in you. Girl, this is chaotic though. Here's what I have. So my hair is still nice and strong. I can see some brassy spots, but it does look pale yellow, which is good. 
Her hair is so yellow and her ends are so white and her ends look like they're about to fall off to the ground. Oh God, she's gonna rinse out too soon. Her, her roots are gonna be yellow, her ends are gonna be white and it's gonna be a total fuck disaster. You know what, I hope all of your hair dreams do come true. I actually do hope that. I'm genuinely saying I do hope that, but I just feel like it's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna be realistic here. I didn't apply enough on my end, so. I don't know how she's not freaking out right now. There is so much going on in every direction. There's roots that are brown, there's ends that are blonde, there's things that are ore processed, there's things that are yellow, there's things that are under processed. It's like everything. My hair is almost done drying. It's actually looking a lot lighter than I expected it to, which is good news, but I am gonna go in for a part two bleach. There's a lot of brass and orangey goldish colors at the bottom of my hair, and then especially at my roots and near the back. Oh, girly baby. Whoo. You are in for a ride. We got part two, I think, here. I'm so worried she's gonna overlap on those ends again that are super pale yellow, white actually, and they are going to fall off. I'm worried about the integrity of her hair. I don't know how you're gonna fix this. I'm gonna emphasize the fact that if she went to a salon at this point, this would be a huge project for a, even the most skilled colorists. Like this would be very scary. It's doable, but it's very scary. <gasps> No, she went back on those light parts again. No, no, please. No. I am going to touch up the roots. So I'm just gonna take the foils off because I really wanna make sure I get an even bleach. So it's been about an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out and apply some purple shampoo. I ran out of bleach, so I was not able to get it as saturated, especially at the bottoms. But I'm gonna go ahead and do a toning shampoo mask and leave it in for about three to five minutes and then I'm gonna tone my hair. It's definitely like all over the place, but if she can do a decent toning job with a root shadow and a few variations of colors in between, she could pull it all together. It has been crazy to watch. <laughs> So here is the finished product. I think it turned out a little bit more gray and ashy than I would like for it to have been. I feel like overall it looks pretty cool. I definitely love how I blended everything and I was really glad that I was able to see some more dimension be put into my hair. But because I'm not super thrilled with the ashiness and the grayness, I'm gonna do what's called Collating. I'm gonna be using Dawn dish soap at first, and then I'm gonna put some lemon juice in my hair to sit, and then I'll rinse it out with some conditioner. Hopefully this will remove some of the toner and get me a little bit more icy white. So here is the finished product. I am really excited about it. I could definitely could have toned a little bit further down, but I felt like just after doing all of the work to remove that ashy gray toner, I did Dawn dish soap, I did lemon, I did some cinnamon, some chamomile tea, I did several washes and I think it turned out so beautiful. Okay, I think you got to a spot where like, it looks good. The integrity of your hair, I'm so worried about it. Like, please don't keep bleaching it. What were we doing? Next time you do it, don't use all those foils and everything that you put on there. Just lay in it. Do the roots first. Let it process to yellow. Then go on evenly to the ends. Comb it through. Avoid the sections that are super pale yellow, white. You'll be great. You'll only have to do it once and it'll come out perfect. I don't know. I just feel like we did a lot and it was concerning and still is a little concerning. I I don't know, I feel like in, in real life your hair might be a little dry, but that's okay, we can we can fix that with, with the right products. Shop Supernova with the link down below. I mean, it was scary to watch that. Up next, we have a video by Sent from Meg's iPhone. I'm going from brunette to blonde. Oh, okay, another sticky little situation we got going on here. Oh, 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 oh. You guys are trying to do a lot today. Um, So she has very dark hair in the back, not that dark, but it's pretty dark. And then she has the things in the front and she has to avoid those when she lightens or else her hair is gonna also fall off. And yeah, she has her work cut out for her because I'm sure that's not her natural color on the back. I'm sure it is box dye. So I already have my front pieces dyed and like the sides a little bit. I'm gonna take the rest of this hair and go blonde. This could either end up really great or it could end up horribly. Ah! 
I'm probably gonna end up somewhere in between gray and horrible. <laughs> so I box dyed maybe three times my natural brown, virgin brown hair, shades of red. I bleached the underneath on top of the box dye and then it grew out a little bit. Didn't cut it, didn't do anything to it. Then I got it professionally done at a salon, an all over color, dark brown. And I didn't touch it for like maybe a few months and I got it cut and then I didn't touch it. Okay, that's all I'm telling you. You have so much going on. Oh, this is a joke. Oh God, okay. I did red hair color on top of it and then I bleached the sides and then I did black hair color on top of all of it. Everything will be fine. We're just gonna get into it. Yeah, let's get into it. So I went to Sally's and I got 20 volume developer and then the quick blue dye. Okay, that seems fine. If I were tackling this head, what would I do? Thanks for asking. I would probably do a test strand first. Secondly, I would probably try and lift out her mids and ends color first, see how light we can make that, and then match her root to that color. I would kind of go in a different direction than she's probably gonna go. Oh. <laughs> Not me forgetting that like, you gotta get it like everywhere. <laughs> How can we forget about it getting it everywhere? That's the whole point here. And is her hair in an elastic or is it just me? What is the elastic there for? I would take the elastic out. I would do horizontal slices, get nice saturation from like an inch after the root. Then what would be best is if we did really beautiful foils, right? Just lay a foil over that section, lay another section down, paper thin sections, boom, painted, another foil, another painting, another foil. Another painting, you know what I mean? If Brad Mondo ever sees this, I just wanted to say I watched all your videos. Did you? Did you? Did you? I think this will turn out really well because I have full trust in you and your advice. So if it turns out bad, I'm blaming you. That is not how this works. You signed a waiver when you signed up for my channel that said if I follow Brad Mondo's advice, I am taking full ownership of whatever the outcome may be. You didn't read the terms and conditions, did you? It's okay, it's common. I just used a whole packet of bleach and we only have ends of the bottoms done. I now have to do this back area. Hopefully I get every little part of it. Now we're gonna move on to the other layers. Okay, I've never done my whole head of bleach. Girl, it's exhausting. It is hard, it is tough, it is grueling, it makes me sweat. It makes me sweat even thinking about it. It makes me look, when I'm looking at you guys do this, it makes me sweat. What are you doing though? If you watch all my videos, which I don't believe you, and thank you if you did, but also like, can you next time like maybe listen? I don't think I ever said to take a f massive mound of hair and try to lighten the entire thing. I never said that. Okay, I just covered my bowl up and I'm just gonna come back to it in like 45, 50 minutes. Maybe just check 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour. You know, those are good times to be checking on your color. That way, like 30 minute mark, you know, like, okay, are we going to 45 or we're going to 60? We know by then. And then by the 45, you're like, okay, well, we're, maybe we're going with 60 because 45 is just, Baby, we're not enough, we're not there yet. So it's been an hour and a half. My bad for not looking at the time. Take a little looky inside. Oh, okay, so it's definitely there. Oh no. The amount of red just shining through her hair. It's like blue, red. That's the box dye, baby. Wait, what? Oh, I honestly was not expecting her hair to fall off right now. Her hair looks like it was in a very healthy state and all she did was lighten it once. Like, why is it falling off? What is going on here? I'm so scared. There's no going back now. Yeah, the logical thing to do now, now that our hair is falling off, is to put more on. Oh God, the way we're painting these roots right now is giving me a migraine. Oh, I need a massage. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what are we doing with these roots? Why are we starting at the top of our head? It doesn't feel that hard to just like section our hair into four quadrants and just do a little bit at a time, you know? In, in a pattern that makes sense. But what do I know? Maybe this makes sense to people. Maybe I'm the weird one. Oh, 
I got the roots on the bottom half, and then I ran out of bleach, and I only have one packet left. You ran out of bleach, girl! This just gets more and more hectic as we go. Clearly, it did not do a single thing, except for the pink. Oh my god, I'm so stressed out right now. Oh my god, why did it not do anything? How did that even happen like that? I also took all of that time to contemplate how I was gonna do this new part. Don't even worry about this. This is gonna get toned and fixed and it will all look like this. Yeah, girl, a toner will fix that right up. <laughs> Be good. <laughs> I'll just update you when I have it all in. All right, we're on to round two. Is it gonna be better? I don't think so, but hopefully. I don't know how her hair didn't even lighten a little bit. I don't even know what, where, how. And we got even more foils this time. She put 20 pounds of foils in her hair. Listen, I'm hoping that he really does a little number on her hair because she needs it. Because that box dye is hard to break through. Believe me, I tried a million times in my life. It's definitely time to do the roots. You're telling me you bleached the roots with all those foils in there? <laughs> How you do that? I did the roots. We're all good. I think I'm gonna let it sit on for about 25 minutes. And then I'm gonna wash it out and we're gonna see if we need a third round. So this one took really well and I didn't get some of the bleach out. There's definitely some patchy spots that I probably have to go back over. <laughs> Okay, we have pink, we have blotchy roots, we have yellow in the midst, we have the white roots, we have the underneath that she completely missed. Why do you guys do this to me? Why? Let's see if she can slay it somehow with the toner. I don't know, I've seen crazier things happen. I've had toner in for maybe 45 minutes and we're about to do the whole wash. Okay, I just washed out the toner and it looks so I can't wait till it dries. And of course, there's still the patchy parts underneath. I am just gonna bleach those at a different date and have someone actually help me reach the back. So I'll show you guys when it's dry. Okay, whoa, that was a journey you just took us on. Oh, I was here, I was there, I was boom, 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 you know what I mean? And now I'm back. And I can say that I think the result you got was interesting. I liked your look before. I don't even know why we were messing with it. I love your money pieces in the front. If you just colored them like pink or something, I think it'd be so fire. But you know, it makes you happy. I think the color was a little off at the end, but it's okay. And I just feel like we put our hair through so much damage for just why. I guess because making her hair blonde is just too much fun. I don't know, I'm beyond stressed now. I don't even have words, I'm at a loss. I'm gonna go cry for you and your hair. No, your hair's fine. You look beautiful no matter what. Yeah, I mean, at least you got something that was sort of even. Uh, right? <laughs> wow. Those were even more chaotic than I thought they'd be. Hope your guys' hair is okay. Uh, you actually, you both seem very fine with what results you got, so that's good. Next time, just don't do that, any of it, ever. Again. Maybe take the advice I said in this video and see what happens. Anyways, if you guys want to check out my hair care line or my hair color line, you can do so with the links right down below or you go to xmonohair.com. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.